Hey guys, this is Jay Blue coming to the video, and today I want to show you guys my Alienware M17X R5 P18E-001 motherboard. Um, I got this on eBay for $750 after selling my Alien 14 for around $1100. Um, this is its successor. Um, I just want to show you guys um, what I did to it. So I got some badges. Um, unfortunately, this is not officially an SLI because the motherboard has an Intel HD uh, graphic processor. However, it has a MXM port. Um, so I managed to scrape a uh, GTX 1070 8 gig off of somebody on eBay and put it in here as well as with the newest driver. Um, let's just see. Let's see. Okay, yeah. And um, I dropped 32 gigs of RAM and I swapped out the CPU as well. I believe this came with an i7 4800MQ. Uh, I changed it to a 4930MX as well as raising the RAM. It only came with two sticks that were really low. Uh, I bought four because the other ports were blank. Um, some people say that this laptop doesn't have, uh, is not capable of ha going over uh, 16 gigs. There's some motherboards that can't. This one can. Um, there's also as well as another issue about the GPUs. Um, some motherboards do contain uh, different um, GPUs. So you can find this version with an, uh, an original 1070 as well as put another 1070 in it to make it SLI and that way you would have seven, uh, 16 gigs but then you might as well get a Quadro RTX 5000 with 16 gigs um, but then again there's a couple variances where the MXM port itself might not be able to handle the wattage so that's a couple of things to look at when you're upgrading something or seeing if it can max you can max out your PC I'm just gonna give you guys a look sees on on the bottom side of this um, just to show you what I guys what I did um, I put alum uh, brushed alum skin on it black obviously because the last one was red kind of was getting sick of that red color there now of course this is an M17 uh, 2013 version uh, as you can see here it says that just M7 or Alienware 17 and on the back side on the service tag it actually says M17X um, this service tag is just for reference um, for pertaining to this laptop itself like I said when I got this um, it just came with a box and a crappy pamphlet and the original charger uh, but other than that like I said I have to up everything in it um, it cost me lesser than, you know, getting a laptop with this kind of specifications in it um, itself. So that's the whole point of this. If you guys can scoop one up for around the same price, I suggest you do if you guys are, like this kind of stuff. However, um, I am actually getting rid of this laptop uh, probably for $1,700. I hope you guys like it. It took me quite a bit to get it all done like this. Um, and again, this is the successor to the uh, 14 that I bought and this is the 17. Um, who knows what I'm going to buy next, but I hope you guys like it. See you guys later.